Hey everyone, this is John from JohnLumer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. In prior tutorials, we've talked about how it's really important that you update these app icons within your timeline for your page so that you have a, you know, and for me, I've, I've done a really consistent look and feel. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be like this, uh, but it's good to have some control over this so it's just not random or, you know, logos for other companies that create the app. Etc. However, one issue is around photos. Truth is, there is a workaround. Um, you can't necessarily update the icon. There is no icon. All it is is the most recent photo. So, what do you do? Let's click on photos. Add photos. And here, you want to try the basic uploader. If you use the regular uploader, it's going to force you to publish it to your timeline. You don't want to do that. And uh, so I'm going to find an, an icon. Now your icon needs to be 111 by 74 or a multiple of that. So this is one of the icons I had previously created. I'm going to upload. And now I'm just going to skip publishing. And if you want here, um, you can also edit the album info that's going to be in. Save changes. Now when you go to your timeline, it looks very uniform. How about that? And if you would like these icons or similar icons, you can get them free at johnlumber.com. We've got 72 icons, six sets of 12 that you can choose from. Uh, just go ahead and check it out. Free of charge. So for more information, go to johnlumber.com or like my page on Facebook at John Lumber Digital. Thanks.